Guys, today I'm going to talk about what I believe is going on with magic. A lot of people have been saying, is magic dying, etc, etc. No, magic is not dying. And in particular, I want to address um, one thing is, if you enjoy magic, you don't need to play a FNM, you don't need to play a standard deck, you don't need to do all these things that Wizard Coast tells you to do. You can just take the magic cards that you own and play casual. I've been playing a ton of Kitchen Table, and it's amazing. Like, I've been drafting, it's really the only time of, and I just finished, uh, it's 3 a.m. at this at the point I'm making this video. By the time it's all done, it'll probably be 5 a.m. because I have to film. Uh, no, I'm not going to film my marketing videos because that doesn't make sense. It's going to go too late into the night. But then I have to upload it uh, when I'm sleeping, and then, you know, and then that's how you guys get videos. So, casual is so fun it is so like just drafting with friends and most some of my friends don't even play magic a lot they just know they know how to play magic but they are themselves not collectors or uh, they are not extreme play they don't net deck they don't even have standard decks they just they can read what the card does and play with it essentially that's what it is uh, it's an easy enough game to understand especially if you played in the past uh, one of my friends, Brandon, uh, he is, he's been a friend of mine since uh, elementary school and he just moved to Houston and it's great, it's so great catching up and doing something we've been doing since uh, fifth grade in elementary school. Uh, it's amazing. It's, I like magic and I don't, don't listen to people who say like, oh, magic is doing poorly or whatever. Magic is what you make of it. To me, I've never enjoyed magic more than I enjoy every Friday now. Like, I used to go to FNMs, I used to go to PTQs. They were just not for me. Um, I realized they were not for me when I was like, why am I doing this? Like, why am I going to this place that really disrespects me and yells at me when, you know, even, you know, at my employment uh, and I have employees, like, that stuff is just unacceptable, at, even at that level. If you're the manager, whoever you are, it's just not acceptable. Some of the behaviors at the store, if you were to put it in real life, you would be sued to oblivion. For it. And I don't know why it is the way it is, but the stores I went to, one store in particular, just had a tournament organizer who just hell bent on being mad and no ability to drive traffic or people or new people. I'm not surprised, but that's why the store doesn't have an FNM anymore. So it's been great. Like it's been great. Like when you don't care about the value of the cards very much and you don't care about, you know, opening a expensive box and having fun and one of the, I don't want to focus too much on it, but when you're drinking alcohol and playing magic, I don't know what it is, but it just feels way better, in my opinion. I, and I know this is going to be taken the wrong way. People might be like, oh, well, you know, you're MTG line supporting, you know, drinking when he knows his audience, a lot of his audience members are younger. But when you are playing and it is not serious and you're misreading cards and you don't know what anything does and you're just having a good time, that's what magic is about to me at this moment in time where my life is extremely stressful. I probably made a video before this one explaining, you know, the sources of stress and magic is the relief. It is the one time a week where I hit, when I go out, when my friends come to my home or I'll go to my friend's home and we'll all get Ubers and you know, Uber is still okay in Houston for now. Just, eat, drink, and play some magic. There's nothing better, uh, in my opinion, than that. We eat and drink, until we start at around six, or I arrive around seven because of my work, but we get we start at seven, and then we draft um, a few boxes. We'll draft anywhere between one box to four boxes, depending on what we're doing, if we're doing sealed or how many people are there. It's anywhere between four to eight people uh, and they're all, I, I wasn't friends with all of them in the beginning, but I'm friends with them, 
them all of them now. It's just a fantastic experience where money doesn't matter, winning doesn't matter. It's just about having fun playing Magic. And I can tell you it is a real treat when you know you don't know what it's such an amazing feeling when winning is not what it's about for magic and it's just fun interactions catching up with old friends and meeting new friends anyway long ramble bye guys